What's going on, Vape family? Long time no see. I apologize for not being on YouTube. Um, Friday, something really, really shitty happened to the channel. I'll explain after because I only have a 10 minute upload time now. I cannot upload longer reviews, which most of you, 99% of you, are like, whew, thank God this guy doesn't have to talk for such a long time. But it sucked because sometimes if I was recording, I would get into some certain stuff and, and be able to go on tangents. Now I can't. I've got to get straight to the review. And yeah, so welcome. I will touch base after, but welcome to another installment of the Liquid King Chronicles, guys. Of course, I'm your host, Victor, also known as the Liquid King. And I'm basically um, going to review a liquid really quick. Um, it came in a couple days ago, maybe four or five days ago. That's not a couple. That's a, that's a few days. But um, we're going to be reviewing a liquid from Dark Market Vapor Company. The first liquid they released was Split, which was absolutely delicious. Uh, the flavor profile pretty much was a banana split milkshake. So I want you to imagine if you got to an ice cream parlor and you actually got a banana split and let it melt a little bit. That melted, sopped up vanilla, chocolate, strawberry ice cream with that banana, that flavor, that's exactly what it was spot on. Not candy banana, ripe banana, and I absolutely loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. The second installment to their liquid is Caked Up. I've been vaping on this for a little while. Um, caked up is decent. It's good. It's It, it didn't meet my expectations um, of what I expected it to be, but it is a tasty e-liquid, and we will jump right into this review. What we focus on on this channel is the fact that um, I want to make sure that anybody who's a noob, I'm a noob myself, but like brand, brand spanking new to vaping, and there's so many liquids that have been released. A lot of them are strawberry, so if you love strawberry, you've got a smorgasbord of freaking strawberry vapes to go through but if you're new and you want to make sure that a flavor profile that is complex or has a lot of um flavors to it of the overall liquid this i'm your guy i'm gonna let you know first and foremost if that liquid is good one to ten vapor production um i don't vape nicotine so i'm not the guy for your throat hit which i apologize and it kind of sucks because if you do get a liquid based off of this review and you get it and the nicotine is rough you're going to be pissed at me so i apologize and again every review i do is subjective i am not the end all be all of liquid palettes what i feel is delicious you may find disgusting so let's get right into it so caked up um is a cake like cake batter milkshake. So what they state, and I want to be thorough about this, what they state about this liquid is at 15 to 30 watts, you'll taste different profiles and characteristics of the liquid if you vape it at 60 watts plus. So we're gonna do both, okay? Um, confetti cake, milkshake, and marshmallow is what you'll taste at 15 to 30. And then on 60 plus, um, you're going to get basically cake batter on inhale, icing, and whipped cream on exhale. So I hope everybody ran this by Adam Urati because Adam Urati is convinced that you can taste nothing on inhale on any e-liquid ever. So I hope they got permission from, from, <laughs> from Adam <laughs> to, to list that. But um, yeah, I've been vaping this for a little while. And I'll tell you what I get from it, okay? But 30 milliliter bottle only, okay? Nothing bigger, no 120s, no 60s. Um, and it's 19.99 MSRP. Nicotine is available in zero, three, six, and 12 mil, milligram, I'm sorry. Um, so if you're new to vaping and you've just weaned yourself off of 18 and you wanna come down to 12 to six, they've got it for you, which is fantastic. So it's a 70-30 VGPG. And I want to give a special thank you to Eddie, Troy, and Cam Chase. All other last names are not Chase, so it's Eddie LeBlanc, Troy LeBlanc, and, and Cam Chase. Thank you very much for sending me um, 60 mils of this for purpose of my opinion and review. Again, this is only my opinion. It is not to offend anybody or to insinuate that my opinion is the end-all be-all. It is simply an opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a vape on this. We'll go over vapor production to basically um, flavor. So I've got this in Jabo Indestructible on a Wismec RX200. I'm gonna vape it at 68.5 watts. 
brand new cotton you can't you can't really see sorry about that but brand new cotton juiced up nice let me put a little bit more liquid on them i don't want to saturate them and over drip to where it's spitting back but we'll have a vape i'm going to purge this out and we'll check out vapor production for the 7030 Good vapor production, okay? Pretty dang good vapor production. Um, now, we're gonna go over flavor, okay? I don't really focus on vapor production. You guys can see, I'm not gonna do the one to 10 or the light, medium, and heavy. It's good vapor production, okay? Um, flavor. I'm not really getting what I expected, okay? And I vaped this from an RDA, and I vaped this in a tank, in a Crown 2, which I'm not really enjoying the flavor out of these. I did put a brand new 0.5 ohm coil in here, um, which vapes between 60, 50 and 80 watts. I've got it at 45. That's, that's the lowest I can go. It won't fire that much, but... Yeah, you really do get a very faint confetti cake, marshmallowy flavor on lower wattage. And on the other hand, when you do vape it harder, um, you absolutely do get different characteristics of the liquid. But what it tastes like to me, which is super weird because my palate's usually on point. What I, what I interpret this liquid as is if I was to take like a coconut cream cake and make it into a milkshake. I get a coconut note, which is super, super weird. But I do, I taste it. It's like almost like they use coconut VG. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't blow my mind like split did split is my absolute favorite from their company they, they recently released pied and also um a different venture is buttered which I'm, I'm pretty excited to try as well but yeah i'd give it a seven and a half um split was way way better this is just like a sweet milkshake flavor and um that's pretty much it for me i mean i it didn't it didn't rock my socks i mean it's good it's not it's not gross it's definitely not gross and i would vape it and i would purchase it again but i'm just giving you my honest opinion on this type of flavor profile so before i run out of time i have a minute and a half left which stinks but what had happened is a company out of canada who will remain nameless that came up with a italian pastry flavored liquid Okay, and it's it's not Casadaga, if you guys know your, your vape history, but it's not Casadaga. It's the first liquid I ever released. Decided to do a copyright claim on me and had my first review ever on YouTube removed due to copyright. So it's a bunch of bullshit. Um, what I'm going to do, I had to go through copyright school and just a bunch of bull crap. So I'll be contacting them in, uh, Monday. You can believe that. It's Sunday right now. I will be contacting them tomorrow. First thing, I'm going to call up their office and ask why I don't have the right to have freedom of speech in my country of a liquid I purchased and think is crap. That's what I think. It's crap. It's the worst liquid I tasted in a long, long time. So I'm not going to get into it. I'm super, super pissed off about it. But anyways, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to another installment of the Liquid King Chronicles. Guys, please make sure you're kind to one another. Help your fellow vapors and pay it forward. And as always, never forget to keep your vape hand strong.